Hello everyone, RPG Kingdom Kid here, back with some more 999. In the previous video, we saw the safe ending, right? I believe so. Yes, we did. We saw the safe ending. And now we are on our way to get to the true ending. But you're probably wondering, why am I in this room? Well, because there's, like, like it was with the safe ending, you get some additional scenes. And these scenes are like pretty important. So we are going to do that. So the I already did everything in this room. The only thing I didn't do was get the pocket watch because the pocket watch once you pick it up, then it starts the scene. So like, here we go. Might I take a look at it? Ace, what the fuck are you hey, doing man? here? What are you doing over in this room? Oh, I just thought I'd come check up on the two of you. Is there a problem? You know, we're going to be a jackass. Yeah, there is. You checked on us. Now get out of here. We split this stuff up for a reason, all right? That's a lie. We didn't have to split up the work. Huh. I just want to talk to Clover alone. Yeah, see, this is new. Like, that's why I said like to this thought house. of Junpei wanting to talk to Clover alone. There's something I want to ask her. I don't want anyone to overhear us. I'm pretty sure Clover won't talk if there's anyone else around. Yep. I'm just gonna turn down low on my end here. I got a little desperate. I had to make him leave. Oh, I see. Of course. Sorry, Richard F. Card. I apologize for the intrusion. Well, best of luck. And see, unlike last time, he doesn't, like, check your pockets. What was that about? Why are you looking at me like that? Oh, uh, no, 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 it's not like that. What's it like, then? I just wanted to hear the rest of that story. Yep, we get to hear the rest of the experiment story. I didn't story. get a chance to ask you about it until now. So, yeah. That, and I and this experiment is actually a big important thingy. So about the experiment, remember the one you started to tell me in the operating room. You said something about an experiment that happened here nine years ago. I don't know if there's a. I'm sorry, but I don't want to talk um, about that right now. I'm just not in the mood. Okay. Uh you understand right I'm just I keep thinking about my brother I I can't stop I mean who would do something like that to my brother <sighs> I know it sucks I can't forgive them I'm not gonna let them get away with it they're gonna pay for it I promise so so Junpei, who do you think did it? Well, if what Seven said was right, then there would have to be at least two of them. You need at least three people to open the numbered doors. Mm -hmm. And if you subtract Snake, that means there were at least two other people. You're right. So, what does that mean? Well, if we just look at the bracelet numbers, we should be able to figure it out. Who could have opened door three with Snake? Well, really, who and who, or who, who, and who? You mean it could have been four people? Well, technically, it's possible. Yeah. Um, I don't know. That doesn't seem very likely why um i'll tell you later why don't we just assume it was only two other people for now okay okay uh, got it let's do that then so and who do you think it could be if it was only two people there's only one possibility which is unfortunate because it would have to be. Well, that's nine. 
10, 11, that's two, so it can't be, like, Ace can't be a part of it. It's only seven and Lotus. That's the only one that works because seven, or, pfft. Santa and seven, because three plus seven is 10, plus two is 12. It's the only one. Could it be Santa and seven? The digital root for snake, Santa, and seven is... Three! Wait, hold on. Are Santa and Seven the killers? <sighs> What's wrong? Because that's the only one that works. Well, I thought about it, and... That's what I thought. Santa and Seven. If it was two people, then that's the only combination that works. Mm-hmm. It's not... <clears throat> hey, wait a minute there. Don't you think it's a little too early to be jumping to conclusions? Because five plus two, like... <clears throat> and obviously well, Clover wouldn't do it, but like, if I did, so that's five plus two, that's brother. seven. So in order to get twelve, you need... There might be other four. No. You need five, you need another five in order to get twelve. What That's the only way. Uh, um, I guess it could have been. Saying you think that it was three or four people? I really don't think that's likely. Why not? Can I borrow your pen and paper? Yeah, here. What's this? These are the combinations for three or four people. Mm hmm These eight combinations are the only possible ones. Oh, I see. Junpei? Yeah? I... I can trust you, right? Yes, of course he can. Of course. Why would you need to ask that? Really? Yeah. So then I should get rid of B, D, G, and H, right? Yes, because those are all the ones that involve five. Just cross them out. And you should take off yours too. <clears throat> the ones with four. And yeah, you take off the ones with four. So, what does that leave? A and E. Wait, it can't be A. Why? Because June's in that one. And she There's no way in hell she'd do something like that. And she was with you the entire time, wasn't she? Are you sure? I bet my life on it. Okay then. I can cross off A too, right? So then that just leaves everyone well, else but those three. What have we got left? E. Do you know what this means? Everyone besides me, you, and June would be working together. Mm-hmm. Do you think that's likely? No. Hmm. If there were four people working together, they wouldn't be very cautious. I don't think they'd try that hard to hide what they were doing if they outnumbered us, right? Well, mm -hmm. you do have a point. And besides, if Ace and Seven are working together... They could have easily gotten rid of me when I went to the shower room with them. And that's true. But they didn't. They didn't even try anything. If they were killers, why wouldn't they? Oh, I see. Anyway, I understand now. Mm -hmm. It seems pretty unlikely mm -hmm. that it was as many as three or four people. Yeah. Yeah. That means there's a good chance it was Santa and Seven. That's how it looks. But why would they do it? Their motive. Have I interrupted something? God damn uh, it. Uh, what is it? There was something I wanted to speak with you about, Junpei. Could you come with me for a moment? Oh, now he's going to do the paper thing, I think. Go ahead. Okay. Now he's going to do the paper thing. Like checking the pockets. What did you want to talk about? There was something I wanted to check 
Yeah, now he's going to check the pockets. Yeah? What's that? That's if right. If you'll excuse me. Hey, what, what the hell are you doing? I'm just checking. No, 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 stop. No, no, no. I, uh, just uh, as I thought. Uh, 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 uh. What exactly are these pieces of paper hiding in your pocket? Numbers. Uh, you switched them, didn't you, when we voted? Um. Hey, no. uh, well, I can't say that I care. I managed to get through the numbered door I wanted, despite your mischief. Then, why did you... Oh, simple curiosity. I hope you won't think ill of me for it. Uh... Ah, uh, damn. Yep, and I believe that's actually the end of it, because obviously you can't talk to people here, so... That's the end of that! So, how about we, uh, I think I can check through this. I honestly don't understand why Jupiter could never do this one on his own. Alright. I kind of want to just jump. That's not what I want to do. I kind of just want to jump to the end. Or I want to jump to like when the next thing is. Because there's going to be a scene in here too, I believe. So... So I could just jump to that, but since <clears throat> I guess it's not that long, and plus this room is actually pretty fun, so. Bing. Oh, a hallway. It's far too narrow to be called one. This seems to be the only route. Yeah, okay, let's okay, go. Drops. Plus, we could probably wow. see if there's anything else different. Well, these machines are weird. Uh, I've never seen any of them before. Huh? Wait, this one is... Ah, oh, yes. Beep, A beep, telegraph beep, key. Beep, 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 these were used beep, beep, to transmit beep, Morse code beep, a long time ago. Beep, 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 this must beep, be the communication beep, office. Beep, 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 beep. What, I just say and Morse code? Door? Nothing, because it's just gibberish. Captain's quarters. Huh. Captain's quarters. That's what it says. You dumb idiot. Then, do you think? Well, we won't know if we don't open it. The captain of the ship. Ah, dead body. It's hilarious because this episode just Again. released like today, uh, today or yesterday. So, damn, like that's hilarious. Like, oh, Wait. the episode that I actually we first went into the captain's yet. quarters released today. So, yay! Man, still alive. Yeah, I don't think so. No pulse. Well, he's dead. Damn. If only we knew how it happened. Hmm. These wounds. <sighs> I wonder what killed him. It must have been this. These clothes. A captain. Does that mean this guy was zero? Bracelet zero. Uh. <sighs> Junpei. It may be wise to find a way out of here first. Right. Yeah, you're right. <coughs> Excuse me. Ugh. Seek a way out. I believe there's also another scene in here. I just gotta figure out, like, what will trigger it. Okay, I don't think there was anything on the bed, was there? No, there wasn't. Um. I had this. I won't need that anymore with this. Uh, 
Huh. Huh. Z-E-R-O, huh. It's like he's making fun of us. What do you think? Nothing. What about him? Do you think that's really Zero? There's no way that's him. Right. Didn't I tell you already? Zero is one of us. I think there's yeah. a, I think there's like a like a Even expansion of this of us, scene. There's no way that man could be Zero. Huh? Don't you get it? The letters that spell Zero on the TV screen, the captain's clothes he's got on, and of course the bracelet with a zero on it. It's too obvious. <laughs> look, look, this is zero right here. This dead body is zero. Yeah, this is an expansion. Isn't that kind of fishy? You're right. Only an idiot wouldn't see through something like that. No, that, that's not the point. So I'm not trying to make fun of them for thinking a trick like this would work. I think so, right? I'm sure they didn't think it would work. Which makes me wonder. I think this is a challenge. A challenge from the person who's really behind all of this. He's making fun of us. Don't you get it? If whoever killed this guy really wanted us to think this corpse was Zero, they'd never have put a bracelet on him. Mm-hmm. Walking around with a Zero bracelet would be like hanging a sign around your neck that said, I did it! Oh, Junpei. Anyone with a brain would be able to see that this guy is supposed to look like everything Zero is supposed to be. Just like we did. The killer must have known we wouldn't think he was Zero and put the bracelet on him anyway. But why? Do you know why? Why? Like I said, he's mocking us. Or he wants you to take the bracelet. Too bad, take the fucking suckers. bracelet. This isn't Zero. Where's the real me then? See if you can catch me. Oh my god. <laughs> it's the same battle uh, a lot of criminals like to play. They'll just sit back and watch people run in circles. The impressions are spot on, Junpei. Spot on. That's really twisted. But it almost seems kind of childish. Yep. Yeah, you're right. It's really childish. It's like it's just a game to whoever this person is. That's what seems funny to me. Oh, God. All right, let's get back to the point. Who killed this man? I don't know. And what's this guy's deal? Who is he? I don't know. How would I know that? If I knew anything, I would have told you. You have no idea who he is. Do Why would you? I? Hmm. We should check and see if he's got anything on him that might tell us who he is. Give me a hand here, Clover. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely... Him over. How else are we going to search his pockets? This is definitely a longer scene than originally. <laughs> okay, fine. Guess I'll because do it. Because A, we got all the story checks, and here B, we, go. we got... We're, the, we're going on the true ending. Hey, it's the. Lastly, let us discuss how to remove the bracelets. There are only two ways to do so. One, you escape from this ship. Two, you are happy with your zero. In the past, once the bracelet is taken outside the confines of the ship, the bracelet will be restored to the ship. It will be restored to the music room. I'm sorry, I, I, I have to laugh at oh the God. zero voice in this. This man, he's dead, isn't he? Yes, you fucking <gasps> idiot! No, it's just, I, I guess I didn't really think about it until right now. Oh, you're an idiot, Junpei. If his bracelet's off, that means he's dead. 
Well, it's pretty obvious that he's dead. You don't really need to look at his bracelet to figure out that he's dead. Exactly, you goddamn idiot. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess you're right. It is pretty obvious. It's super obvious. Well, uh, he looks a lot better than the other bodies we've seen, though. <laughs> you know? Oh, shut up, Junpei! I mean, if, if there wasn't all this blood, he almost looked like he was still alive. <laughs> I mean, I, I know it's kind of a messed up thing to say, but he kind of has it better, you know? Shut the fuck up! Dying from a bomb going off inside of you? I mean, that's just... <sighs> Some of Snake's bones went right through his skin. Oh, okay, never mind. I think the explosion must have thrown him against a wall or something. There was a broken bone just sticking out of his left arm. Here we are. And... Uh, oh. What did you just say? Oh man, uh, I am... I, I am so sorry. I, I shouldn't have said that. I, I really don't know what I was thinking. I mean... No, say no, it. No, that's not what I'm talking about. What did you say about his arm? Here we go. Yes, his <coughs> left arm. You said it, didn't you? Yep, here we go. Well, yeah, I did, but... Here we I go. I mean, I, didn't, didn't you see it too? Of course not. I could barely look at him. There's no way I was going to see the details. Are you sure it was his left arm? Yes. Yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure it was. Cuz if you remember, and he had a broken bone, right? Here we go. What the hell are you getting at here? Just shut up and answer me. Yes. Yeah, he did. Uh, it was pretty bad too. The bone was sticking out of the arm. <laughs> Clover? What's wrong? Look, I'm sorry if I said anything. No. Thank you. Huh? Uh, what are you... Here we go. Thank you so much, Junpei. Here we go. Hey, uh, what's going on with you? I'm sorry, it's just... I'm so happy. Yep. Why? Because she knows that the Snake's alive. Room, it, it isn't his. It isn't my brother. Huh? It's not Snake. Why on earth would you think uh, that? Yep. Because his left arm is... I'm sorry. I really shouldn't be talking about this. Uh. But he's still alive. I'm... I'm so happy. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad. Uh huh? Junpei, you were right. Huh? No matter what happens, you can never lose hope. Never lose hope. You have to remember what's most important, and that's to have faith and to have love. If you can remember all of those, that'll bring you good luck. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's... I, I only made it here because you gave me this. And now she won't go all cuckoo on us. I was angry and miserable. But because I had this four-leaf clover, because of what you said to me, I... I want you right yeah. now! Uh, uh, thank you so much, I can get by this threesome. Oh, uh, if you really want to thank somebody, you, you, you should be thanking Santa. Santa? Why? Well, he was the one who gave me that thing. And the words for each leaf? I got that from him, too. Oh. Um. Uh. Hmm. Uh. Hmm. Uh huh? <laughs> she pacing back did, and forth. Did Santa really tell you those things? 
Yeah, he he did. Yeah. Did I uh, say something wrong? Oh no, not at all. No, but as a matter of fact, you actually said something right. This could be really good news, I think. You think? Santa knew about the words and the clover. The only people who should know about that are the other subjects. Here we go. Subjects? The other people who were in the experiment nine years ago, with my brother and me. <sighs> but he's blind. And I was part of the Nevada test group. Nevada test group. So neither of us would be able to recognize the faces of the people who were on this boat. Whoa, 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 okay, time out. Let's just calm down for a second, okay? Start from the top. Don't start with the end and then jump to the middle. You, you, you gotta start with one and then move to two and three and four and so on. Could you just say start middle and end? end? Stuff in the right order, I'm never going to be able to figure <clears> out. <throat> All right, here we go. Okay. All right, let's start with this experiment. What happened on this boat nine years ago? Do you know about morphogenetic fields? Morphogenetic fields. Morphogenetic fields. All right, how about this? Oh, I guess she mentioned theory shit. of the telepathic mechanism. <clears throat> I think Lotus. Yeah, I don't something like there. obviously the. Uh, I don't think there's any because we went through door. Mm, what door did we? We went through door seven. Well, that's not really it, but I suppose it's. Similar. Which was what seven in June. So they were testing to No, it was seven and clover. <clears throat> but and nothing got added. So. Like there's no other added dialogue so, what exactly that we didn't have seen already because we've already seen it that way. The same thing that we're doing now. Exactly the same thing. What? The Nonary Game. Nine people were put on this boat, and nine others were put in the building in Nevada, and the game started. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry, but I, I don't get it. What do the Nonary Game and some telepathy experiment have to do with each other? Am I missing something here? The ability to access a morphogenetic field is affected yep. by a couple of things. The first is epiphany, and the other is danger. You know how sometimes when you're up against a really tough problem, and then the answer just kind of pops in your head? That's an epiphany. The and epiphany moment. The epiphany can be transmitted with <coughs> Excuse me, I got something stuck in my throat. When you add danger to that equation, <coughs> then it gets Damn easier it. to transmit got something stuck that in my throat, information James. over telepathy. So you're saying the nonary game was supposed to introduce that element of danger? Mm-hmm. In a twisted, yeah, fucked up way. But it couldn't be just any old danger. It had to be life and death. It had to be life and death. Okay, that was weird. And and someone did actually die. A girl. Mm-hmm. She was on the boat with my brother. I was in Nevada. I never met her, but I did hear her name. Oh. Her name was. Oh, my apologies. I seem to have disturbed you. Ace. You two must have strong stomachs. I can't imagine yeah. how you could stay in this room for so long. At any rate, Junpei, would you be so kind as to come and help me with something? I'm having a little trouble, and I could really use your assistance. Uh... Come on, it'll only take a moment. I don't want Ace to hear us. We can talk about this later. Huh? Hey, wait! Junpei? 
What are you doing in there? Hurry up. Yep. You didn't get to hear the name of it. <sighs> okay, hold on. I think, I think I'll... <clears throat> I think I just need this thing. to find the paper where where's the paper at again is it in this drawer yes it was okay oh, you idiot I don't know what this says. Well, looks like there's something on the cover. Oh, go oh I think this might be an ad scene too. All ice. ice. Alice. Alice. Yeah. Does this mean? What the hell is this? Yeah, because we will, uh, we learned about all eyes Alice glyphs. when we went into the room with seven. In ancient Egypt. Ancient Egypt. That's right. Yes, hieroglyphic. Can you read that? Hieroglyphics. Them? Of course. I can't. What would make you think I could? I don't know. What the hell? Whoa! The the whole thing's like that. Awesome. Huh? What's this? Oh, a, a key card. Uranus. That's the Uranus symbol. Uranus. Uranus. Something's written on the bottom. Uranus. Bottom deck library. This must be the key to the library, then. Ooh, interesting. So it would seem. So it bottom would seem. Bottom deck library. Oh. Seven said something like. Yep. Alice, Alice sleeps, sleeps in a small, in a small chamber, chamber past the forest, forest of knowledge, knowledge beneath the navel yep. of the gigantic. Could beneath the navel mean the bottom deck? And the forest of knowledge is the library? Then could Alice be in a room somewhere beyond the library? What's wrong? Something on your mind? Um, yeah. I just remembered something. Is that so? What about? Well, don't laugh, okay? The Egyptian priestess and Ice Nine. Interesting. And the woman who wouldn't melt, who was recovered from the Titanic disaster? They called her All Ice, which eventually turned into Alice. And she was purchased by an English millionaire who called himself Lord Gordain. According to Seven, this ship is where he hid Alice. And you think that he hid her in a small room, beyond the library on the bottom deck? That's a possibility. Yeah. Well, I mean, it is just a theory. It's just a theory! Junpei. Have you ever heard of the term CAS? CAS? It stands for Cells Alive System. Nope. It is an advanced technology for freezing and preserving... I honestly have no idea what I'm going to call this episode. Some of these episodes are hard to come up with names for. Put simply, it is a technique that allows one to freeze things without the formation of ice crystals. Normally, if you freeze something fresh, water within its cells expands as it crystallizes, damaging the cell membrane. Mm-hmm. Cass, however, works differently. 
The object to be frozen is super cooled using magnetic fields and then frozen instantly and uniformly, giving ice crystals no time to form. See how interesting it is? It was originally developed for the preservation of food as an alternative to the normal freezing process. Now, however, there are rumors that it can be used for other things. What do you mean, other things? Well, there are obvious medical uses, but perhaps also space travel. Space travel? Are you serious? Surely you've heard of suspended animation. Cryogenic freezing? It's a fairly common idea in science fiction books and films. People are sometimes frozen for especially lengthy journeys through space. Whoa, 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 wait a minute there. Are you saying that Alice was frozen using that cast thing? Well, I'm sure the possibility is quite low. Probably. But it is a possibility. If this special ice you call Ice 9 does indeed exist, and casts were used to freeze her into that sort of ice instantaneously. You think she could be alive? Well, I can't say for sure, of course. I'm only talking about possibilities. The melting point for Ice 9 is 96 degrees, right? If she were put mm -hmm. somewhere where she could reach that temperature... <laughs> That's nuts! Are you really saying she could have defrosted and started walking about? Possibly. You're quite right. It does sound unbelievable. But so does everything else that's happened so if far, so... Did, then we would have an explanation for the man we found dead on the floor. You mean the guy dressed like a captain? Yes. He was dead when we found him. Clearly, he was murdered. But if he was murdered, then by whom? It couldn't have been one of us. That would be impossible. Mm -hmm. In order to enter the captain's quarters, one must first open door one. That door that requires the earth key prevented us from accessing door one. Who was it that opened that door? Santa and Lotus. Right. Clearly, the two of them could not have opened door one, or any other door for that matter. Right. Who else then could have done so? Nobody. After Santa and Lotus used the Earth Key, they turned back and met up with me and June. Then we returned to the large hospital room and found Ace, Seven, and Clover. Mm -hmm. While we'd gone into the shower room, Ace, Seven, and Clover had stayed behind. But it's impossible for those three to open door one. Hmm, but what about when June and I took the elevator to door two? No, still won't work. We were only gone five minutes. No human being could have run to the captain's quarters, killed that guy in there, and run back that fast. Mm-hmm. It's impossible. It would be impossible for any of us to be the murderer. Yep. That being the case, who could have killed him? Mm -hmm. Wouldn't it make sense if his killer was someone who had been in the ship for some time? But how did you get in the room? When did you get in the room? <sighs> A person like that would know the ship well. They would know the locations of all the hidden passages and secret doors. The numbered door would mean nothing to someone like that. Well, I guess. It would be a simple thing for them to enter the captain's quarters. I guess if you put it that way, Acers. Was Alice? Well, this is all only one possible theory. Remember, it's just the theory! A game theory! Oh, Alice. Is she really somewhere on the ship? Man. This card will give me access to the forest of knowledge. 
and the big mystery. What could be there beyond the forest of knowledge? Well, you have to find the force of knowledge. It's gonna have to wait. I can't do anything right now. I'll come back to this later. Right. Righto. I'm gonna pick that up. I think that's all I can do in this room. I honestly thought that was the way out. I think I did everything. Just wanna be sure. Okay, yeah, and then zero. Good thing is, I wrote that down so I don't have to think of it again. So it is, I just gotta, I just gotta get the paper where it needs to be so it's, oh, what the fuck? So it's 35, 14, 27. God damn it. How did I forget the four? 35, 14, 27, 24. Beep, beep, beep. Yes. Worked. Good job, Junpei. Excellent. You seem to have unlocked it. Good work, Junpei. Alright. Let's go. You found it. Alright. Let's go. Alright, guys. I'm grinding the part here, so thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked the video, please give that like button a click. Comment down below what you like about the video, what you didn't like about the video. And let me know, how'd you feel about the touching scene that Clover finally realized that her brother has to be alive because his left arm is a fake? And who do you think is the girl that died? I wonder. I already know the answer. And if you know the answer, don't spoil it for people that don't. Yeah. Just just let me know if you do know it. Just be like, hey, I know who, he's, who Clover was talking about. So yeah. And as always, guys, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. And subscribe to my main channel too, that's in the description below. As well as follow me on Twitter. Both my main Twitter, RBG Kim Kid Twitter, are in there too. I want to thank you all so much for watching once again. And I'll see you all next time.